What's going on y'all? So for today's video we are going to be installing this duckbill spoiler on my 2016 WRX. Um, I'm going to make another video explaining what went wrong with my car. Um, it's back up and running. Easy fix. Uh, something small that honestly I could have avoided. Um, but yeah, so today's video, we're just going to be installing this duckbill spoiler. Uh, I got it off e or, uh, Amazon. Uh, it was like, I think 130 bucks or something like that. Um, very similar to some of the ones on Subi Speed. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to install this today. Uh, it's a good little difference uh, compared to the stock one. And I will link it in the description. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Well... It has come to my attention that I forgot to hit the record button for the uh, uninstallation of the stock uh, of the stock lip. But for the most part, it is to take off the uh, inner lining, which I have here. Uh, it has what six, uh, seven plastic clips that go on it uh, that clip to the back of this. So you take those clips out, and then right up under there if you can see those we have the uh we have the screws for the um spoiler and then as you can see from here just give it a little pressure and it pops out um it's got these little tabs and uh some of these spots here oh there's a bunny running across my yard Let's see if i can grab that What up, buddy? Anyway, so I got the stock one off. So here's a comparison of what the stock looks like compared to the uh, aftermarket one. So as you all can see, there's a pretty big comparison, or a uh, pretty big difference here. Um, this being the uh, stock one. Um, this just kind of comes out a little taller, a little bit wider. Uh, I think overall it's just going to look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and clean this surface where the uh, where the old spoiler was uh, with just some some uh, any car cleaner, uh, quick detailer thing, and a microfiber cloth just to make sure that underneath is nice and clean. Spoiler mocked up, it looks really good. It's super different. Um, so let's go ahead and get to installing this. So to install this, there are a couple little screws uh, right up in there. There's one there, one in the middle, and then one over on the other side in the same spot. So let's go ahead and get these screws in so that we can see this thing fully on the car. There you guys have it, so it's fully installed. I think it looks really good. Super aggressive. It comes out really nice. Um, overall, it was really easy to install. Uh, it came with pretty much everything you need. All the screws and stuff. Uh, it's kind of up to your own interpretation of how many screws you want to use and stuff. I only use two. Uh, that third one's really hard to get to. So uh, I might go back in and put that in when I uh, when I feel like it. But it has that, it has the 3M tape. So that's all stuff that uh, you can put in if you want. You don't not like it. I think it looks really good. Uh, I think it gives a car a whole different look. I'm really excited to have it on the car. I think that's going to be the end of today's video because I did go golfing with some friends this morning and uh, kind of went longer than I expected. So I'm kind of tired. I just kind of want to lay back, edit this video, and relax a little bit. But I'm happy I got that installed on the car. If y'all did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate a subscription because uh, I've been getting some views on the videos, but not too many subscribers. Uh, so 
if you all enjoyed today's video make sure you uh, like the video comment um, subscribe and let me know what you all want to see next so thank you again for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one